Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making cottage pie in a Ninja Foodie. Alright guys, I'm starting out on my Ninja Foodie and I have some russet potatoes that I diced up into big chunks. This is five russet potatoes, I'd say probably about two and a half, three pounds. We're going to pressure cook our potatoes in here for the mashed potatoes on top. I'm going to start by adding some salt in here. I'm going to go for about a tablespoon. And guys, cottage pie is what we call shepherd's pie here in the United States. The difference is, is shepherd's pie is made with lamb and cottage pie is made with ground beef. So we're having European shepherd pie or American or European cottage pie or American shepherd pie. Now I'm going to put two cups of water in here. I'm going to put my pressure cooker lid on and I'm going to set this to pressure cook for six minutes. After my six minutes are up, I'll do a quick release to pressure. All right, now that my potatoes are done, I drain them, put them in a bowl of butter, and I wiped out my Ninja Foodie with a paper towel quick to get it cleaned. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in here, and I'll go ahead and I'll mash them potatoes with some butter and uh, a little bit of milk then off camera, because we all know how to make mashed potatoes. I have about a half a cup of celery here, half a cup of carrot, and one onion I diced up. We're going to get them in there, and we're going to saute them for a few minutes. And I have my Foodie set on saute high. It's going to take a minute for it to come up to temperature, but that's all right. We can wait. All right, now that my vegetables are about halfway sauteed, I'm going to add in my ground beef. Now I have roughly two and a half pounds of ground beef here, and it's on the bloody side, but that's fine. I'm going to get my ground beef in here. I'm going to brown this up, and then when this is done browning up, I'll drain off the excess grease. All right, now that I drained my ground beef and I add it back in the Ninja Foodie. I'm going to turn this back on to saute. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some salt. Just a little bit. What, Dexter? I'm going to add a little bit of dry thyme leaves. And I'm sorry if I'm talking a little loud, guys. I don't know if this frying is drowning out my voice. It's about a half a teaspoon. I'm going to add in a little bit of fresh parsley. Probably about a teaspoon. Give that a stir quick, get everybody mixed together. Now I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce. We're going for about two tablespoons. Give that a stir. Now I have two cups of water with two packs of brown gravy mix. It's going to make a nice gravy, guys. We're going to get this down in there. And I'm going to allow this to cook on saute high just for a few minutes till that gravy starts to thicken up. All right, now that this went for a few minutes, my gravy starting to thicken up. I'm going to add some shredded cheddar cheese in here. Now you can mix your cheese in with your potatoes while you're mashing them if you like. But I'm just going to do it this way because it's going to be a little easier. And I turned my saute off now because we're done with that. Now you just want to put a nice helping down over your ground beef. And guys, I'm telling you what, these Ninja Foodies are really nice. If I had to choose between that and the Instant Pot, well, they'd be the Ninja Foodie because they're just so much more versatile. Now I'm going to take them mashed potatoes, and I'm going to get them down on top of the ground beef. And guys, I seasoned my potatoes with a little more salt when I was mashing them. Because unlike when you boil them in salt water, they don't pick up the salt flavor as good. And part of me blocking the uh, scene here with this bowl. All right, now I'm gonna just even out my potatoes. Now, guys, you can scale this back for a smaller family. You don't have to make as much, but this is feeding a crowd. All right. I'm going to add a little more fresh parsley on top. And I hope this, when we're browning our potatoes, I hope the taste this cooks in because Holly does not like fresh parsley. Okay. I'm going to close my air fryer lid down. And I'm going to set this to air crisp. It's at 390. I'm going to turn it up to 400. And I'm going to set my time for 10 minutes. I'll check it after 5 minutes. We want to go for a nice golden brown on the potatoes. 
All right, guys, this one for six minutes. See how nice and golden brown that is? Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Real quick, guys, my great nephew Jalil wants to say hi. Hi, this will be good. All right, guys, let me get in here and give this a try. You see that gravy and beef in there? It's really good. The beef's well seasoned, the potatoes are creamy and buttery. You get that gravy mix, and guys, that stuff's really underrated. That really makes food delicious. You get that Worcestershire sauce. You get the vegetables are nice and tender. That was really good, and it really wasn't that hard at all. All right, there you have it. Cottage pie and a ninja foodie. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.